Welcome back everybody for another episode of the Continuing Adventures of SnowRunner. Um, today we are going to do something that I've been wanting to do for a while and just keep forgetting. Um, we are going to clear out the fallen power lines. Um, so basically we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick up this trailer, I believe right here. Um, I believe if I remember right it has concrete blocks on it. And we'll go ahead and take it up there. That's one of the things that needs to be done. They need two concrete blocks. From there, um, I think the quickest way will probably be to come up here to grab the metal beams and uh, and bring it on back down. And then if we have time, I also want to redo, yeah, you know, do this one on the wooden bridge also. Um, and then from there, that's probably going to be where we're going to end up at the end of the episode and all on that one. Alright, so let's get started on it. Let's first go get those concrete blocks. Um, this truck don't really like pulling the trailer, so that might take us a little bit of time on that one but we shall see I mean I say that and then it might just go ahead and you know pull it like it's nothing behind it you know I swear I think these games they listen to us and they're like oh this guy thinks it's gonna be hard we're gonna make it really easy to show him he's wrong You have things and all where you say, like, oh yeah, we'll just breeze through this and then it ends up being, you know, one of the hardest, most time consuming things you do in the whole game. So, I mean, it just seems to work out like that. Alright, so. Coming up on it here soon. Can I remember it's the first one? First turn or the second turn? So you got two trailers over here. One's got a fuel tanker trailer, and then the other one has the concrete trailer. Alright, so it's the second one. So yeah, see the trailer over there, is, you know, fuel tanker's over the first one. Alright, let's see here. I'm going to back this thing in so we can hook it up. Hopefully get it out of here. So that's a good thing. semi-trailer and seem to have much of a problem with that but other than keeping the front tires on the ground all right let's see here all right that wasn't too bad we got it out we're up on the road should be able to pick up some speed now getting it through this little muddy area up here might be a challenge though so we'll see Coming up on it. I'll be a drive on. So far, so good. I'm starting to slow down now. Alright. Drive to first. And slowly but surely, this way we might get it down. So I have problems keeping it. Front tires on the ground, looks like. Lifting up. Good thing is, if Marsh comes with us, there's plenty of stuff to winch to right here, so. Alright. Huh. Alright. It's going. Alright, yeah, make it a little easier. And it looks like we're actually 
coming out of it, so. too far to go with this, especially once we made this turn and get on the road, turns right up here on the left, the following power lines, so we're kind of continuing off from the last episode, trying to clear up the roads, you know, any of the blockages and all the rock slides, the, you know, building bridges type thing, trying to get these roads and all, you know, situated. So it makes everything else a whole lot easier. Come on, come on, come on. Get up off of this. Alright, should be alright now. There we go. Alright, so now I just turn right here. And then the fallen power lines will be down here. No, oh, right in the middle of the road. So, alright, see him right there, you see him here from now, or see him now from here, jeez. Alright. Sorry guys, it's getting kind of late in the evening. So, keep my words getting some dyslexia going on. <laughs> Starting to say things backwards. Cargo management, and we'll go ahead. Uh, we got two more left. Um, all right, so we are going to really need to get this out of the way, actually.
think it's like two wooden planks. I checked it out, looked at, you know, see what it needed for the mission, so. After that, I believe all the roads over here will be clear. And all bridges, uh, bridges built. Must be an employee right there. Should be coming by here late at night. This car's not here. That must be Uncle Andrio, I guess. Andrio, something like that. I don't know. Alright, uh, metal beams, yes. Thank you very much. Alright, let's get down here. Our lines rebuilt. Alright. Where are you? Oh, this is already showing the power lines. I don't know what is tracking over there. I think it's the power lines. Eh, man, I guess maybe it is. Right. I don't know. Maybe there's a trailer over there. I'll have to go and investigate that later on. Right now, we got work to do. Right. Oh, on that tree there a little bit. At least, you know, Black River's coming along nicely anyways. I think maybe in the next episode, because it's been killing me, I really want to get over there. Um, we might take the con out and uh, go exploring Alaska. It's going to be the plan for the next episode, just to get away from Michigan for a little bit. Um, and here we are, I believe this is number 10. And we, yeah. I've only been over Smithfield Dam like once. Um, there's still quite a bit over there left to do. I mean, I say it's going to be a very long series, but yeah. Trailer's rolling. Alright, let's see here. Cargo management. I lost steel beams, and well. Power lines back up. I see you guys and all that work for like the electric company. I bet y'all just wish it was that easy, right? Alright, we'll I'll come back and get that in a later time. I'm not gonna mess with pulling that trailer. Um, let's see, is there anywhere for me to turn around? Not really, but let's see here. Try to turn around right here. Oh, I got a guard rail. Alright. There we go. Alright, yes, so we are going to. Actually, let's stop the engine, save the gas. I really need to do that missing machinery one here really, really soon. This is driving me nuts. Um, wooden bridge. Cause it just pops up automatically, you know, right after you finish a mission. All right, so we're gonna come over, come back. We're gonna go to lumber mill. Uh, I think we're gonna try to cross over here. Doesn't look like it's too bad right there. And knock out the wooden bridge. 
and we'll call that an upload, I think. Tell you what, guys. I don't know if it's like this and all with the steering wheel. Man, these controllers are sensitive. And it's weird. Sometimes they are, and then sometimes you turn the wheel and it just doesn't want to turn. Sometimes you barely just touch a stick and you know, and it just shoots off and all to the left or the right. And, yeah, there's really no, you know, force feedback and all with the controller. Don't seem like. seen on like you know in the settings and the controls and all that yeah you know, because I try to see if I could change the force feedback and all or whatever yeah you know, I see they have it for the steering wheel yeah you know, but not for control so uh, some I'm definitely looking into getting um, and it just you know it takes money you know right now it's kind of a limited thing coming in the house right now so, and once again, all of them talking lockdowns, and you, know, you gotta decide whether you, you know, you get something like that or, you know, eat, you know. Of course, eating's gonna win every time on that. So, but hopefully, here in the near future and all, you know, we can get, you know, hands on Logitech, that would be nice. Alright. So we're here at the lumber mill. Alright, we needed two wooden planks. Alright. Let's see, hopefully this will be it and all for what we need. It may, hopefully it ain't like the mountain bridge where, you know, we needed the metal beans and had to go back and get the concrete slabs. So, I mean, it says it's a wooden bridge. I'm delivering wood, so it should be about all that's needed, right? Alright. This way up this hill. Hopefully we can make it without rolling it. Or getting it stuck. Whew. A lot of weight going up this hill. We're going to make it, though. Uh, I mean, this Fleet Star, it's turned out to be a really decent truck, man. It gets the job done. Maybe a little bit slower, may not be able to bulldoze through everything, but it's definitely, you know, been a good find. You know, well, I, can, I say it's a good find. It's essentially, you know, they give it to you. Yeah, you know, it's right there at the garage when you unlock the garage, so. I guess it's a good truck to get you started on everything. I mean, there's, oh, hold on. I don't remember seeing that on the map. We have an upgrade, guys. We're gonna stop and get it. Maybe it's for this. Get upgrade. Oh, available. Oh, it's the raise for this truck. Oh, that's gonna come in handy. All right, let's see. Show truck list. I mean, is it just for this truck? Yeah, just for the Fleet Star. Awesome. That we've been looking for for a while. And it's been right here all along. Man, we should have went and did the wooden bridge in the second episode. First episode. No, we just did the whole tutorial thing. Here, 
guess I mean we could just run barrel on through that, you know, maybe. I got stuck though. Oh, that raised this year is going to make this truck so much better. This thing does get caught a lot on things. That's awesome. And I feel like we're going to get stuck in the mud. But we, we made it. Alright. And unload, unload. Oh, and we were promoted. It's been a good episode, guys. The wind bridge. Done also now. Alrighty. Got $1,400. Got promoted. I found the upgrade for the police star. That's a pretty good episode, guys. Alright, with that, guys, I, I think we are going to end the episode. I don't want to get into really anything else. Um, it's just for the simple fact of, you know, time wise, we've already done the two missions, so. Alright, guys, well, this is going to be the end of the episode. Um, if you liked the video, please give it a like. You know, if you want to see more content, please subscribe. It really help out the channel. Uh, if you want to leave a comment, please do. Thanks for watching, guys.